What's going on YouTube? It's AZ392 coming to you with another video. Today we're gonna to be go checking out some new 392 Wranglers that are in the area. We're gonna see how they look. One's in a new blue color. I've never got to see in person before, so I'm pretty excited to go see that. I know the cameraman's in the market for a new car too, so we get to see that. It's gonna be a fun day, so stay tuned. We're gonna be checking out some really cool cars today. So, a lot of you guys asked why I sold my previous Jeep 392 2022 with the Extreme Recon package. And to be quite frank with you guys, the car was just having a lot of issues with it. So, I would say that I got it brand new. The dealership uh, gave it to me at MSRP, super nice, and around 3,000 miles or so. I noticed when I was driving on the highway that it brought up like a warning saying, warning power steering system high, uh, performance may be limited. And I can literally remember it because of how many times it pulled, like popped up. But I would say after like 200 miles of that, oh actually, the story is the first time that the power steering went out was around 3,000 miles. I was getting off the highway after it had just popped up that warning and it went away and when I was getting like going off it onto the straight road the power steering had completely locked up and that was the first time in a car that that's ever done that to me while I'm driving so luckily I was going straight because for a good five to ten minutes the, the actual wheel wouldn't turn left or right even when I would stop and then after I dropped to around like 25 miles an hour, all of a sudden you could just feel the steering wheel just completely loosen up and it would go back to normal. And then no lights would be on. So I brought it in to get fixed after that. And dealership said they fixed it. They said it was just a bad battery. And I would say around another 1,500 to 2,000 miles same alert kept popping up and that's actually when the uh, was it the front drive shaft that got completely destroyed I don't even know how that happened but the drive shaft in the front was destroyed and then after they fixed that they had replaced the alternator because they said that was the problem and yet again the power steering came on so this was all within from like 3,000 miles to 29,000 when I owned it. So in that whole time span of fixing things, and I have to remember the coolant hose broke too on it. What else broke? Just that. What'd you say? Just that. Yeah, just those two things. But again, I told you, if you guys need anything fixed on your Jeep, go to Chapman Dodge, see Robert. That man will take care of you. Brought it to him every single time gave him the call even he actually gave me his uh, personal cell so I was able to text him tell him what was going on so I could get a hold of him right away and immediately told me to bring it there got me in touch with a uh, tow company too which was super nice reliable came instantly because the coolant hose had left us down I'll show you guys that in the video right now of when the coolant hose broke and maybe I have a few other clips of the power steering going out and the uh, drive shaft broke, which I think I do. So I'll pull up those in the video too. Get this video on a guy on the camera. This guy's, get, take your right, take your right. Just a casual biker swerving through traffic. Probably not the most safe thing to do, but we wish that man was staying safe. But getting back to what I was saying, it was just a sequence of events that happened with the car. Amazing car though. If anyone's in the market for one of them, I would totally recommend you to buy one. It's a completely different experience if you had a Jeep prior to it, going from a Jeep to a Jeep 392. You know, you'll be so happy. And I feel like that's what everyone says when they actually first do drive a 392 Wrangler. Because, you know, driving down the road, it honestly doesn't look too much different than like a standard, like Rubicon or whatever right when you hit that thing I mean the back ends 
tilting down, front ends lifting up. And I mean, you, the noise difference from inside here, the TRX versus the 392 is insane. The 392, you could hear everything, right? But I'm just kind of in traffic. We got, um, don't try that. We got 15 minutes till we get there. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Alrighty. Well, you'll see us in the car. Guys, this is the Ford Bronco. This one's way more loaded than the others. Got the hood graphic on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I love the black with this new stripe on it. It's locked. What do you think of it? Looks bad from behind. Guys, cameraman's in the market for a new car, so let him know what he should get. It's a nice little transom on though. 91,000 for this Ford Bronco Raptor. It's like the upgraded uh, seat. Oh, I'll show you guys. I just like how this one's a little bit more advanced than the Jeep in a way. A bit more advanced and it's wider, I think, on the inside. Oh, this goofy stuff. Baja. Look how many Ford lightings are just sitting on the lot. Are these electric too? I think these might be electric too. Look at all the electric cars just sitting. I mean, they have every color wet. Some nice dualies. So guys, this is that Earl color. It's got no extreme recon package. 2023 Jeep 392. 36 miles. Smells brand new too. No one touch. Let me know what you guys like of this color. That's way too much, guys. It smells brand new. 
It does smell brand new. So guys, we're pulling up to the dealership now. I'm sorry, don't mind my disgusting glass. Not too much. Guys, so we're checking back on the 392. That's still here. Cameraman's making a decision. It smells new, it smells good. Does it guys give you a different look on it? That 6.4 liter Hemi VA. This is how it looks brand new from the factory. So clean. Comes with those Fox shocks, 33 inch beadlock capable wheels. Beautiful. Cameraman's going to send the new car. Let, let me know in the comments. Let him know in the comments what you, what you should do. If you're in his shoes, think about driving it. Could you guys see the cameraman driving a 392 Wrangler in white? Stop, stop on it. <sighs> Would you be driving crazy? Any day. Any all day. day. All day. I love this car. Loves the car. I got a blue 392 here as well for you guys to check out. Air Park of Scottsdale. 2,000 miles. Well, this has 35 miles. Dang, 392. Dang. This is what the TRX looks like next to the 392. It's a 21 black clear coat exterior. Sides. We got Dr. Pepper in it. Bro, this door's like broke. As you guys can tell, the door's kind of broke. The door feels like so. It's probably because they put that thing on it. What the? Feels light as hell. Bro, they got nothing. They got nothing. They got nothing in the middle of it. There's supposed to be a piece right there, guys. They're supposed We're to. Probably got rid of it, so it's easier to open. I didn't like how it was. Everything you take off. So there's that one for you guys. Twenty one, cheap, three nine two. Yeah, this gray TRX too. Level one. Got a white TRX up here. See what this one's going for. 88. With the red seats. No carbon fiber. Red seats. Level one. 18 miles. No graphics either, but tell me what you guys think of the white. This is gonna look like the similar one to the same one we got. Red TRX guys. This one's locked. Unfortunately, I can't show you the inside. Got the red stitching inside. Check out this black one. Locked as well. 